Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen and today we are diving into a powerful word of Rust and our challenge, the enigmatic Excel sheet column title. So a daily lead code challenge and if you doubled Intel Excel, you have seen this intriguing column name, A, B, C, Z, A, 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 B and it goes on. And our mission today is to recreate this magic using Rust. So first up, uh, the iterative approach, then a recursive one. So expect some looping magic in our uh, iterative Rust solution. So uh, let's implement it and then I will explain. So uh, let, yeah, let mutable result be string new and let mutable number column number and while number greater than zero, number minus one. And character code will be number modulo 26, SU8, and A, and result insert zero character code, S char. And number divided by 26, and result. So we are returning result. Uh, let's run it just to verify it's working for uh, test cases uh, 1a, 28ab. So 1a, 28ab. All good. Uh, so a quick breakdown. Uh, just like in other programming languages, we are finding remainder with 26 to get our character. But notice the uh, b, uh, a. So in Rust, we are working directly with byte literals. So to manipulate our characters, we are then inserting our character at the start of our uh, string, building our column name. So uh, given uh, some uh, test cases, so for example, number uh, 701, the first pass uh, give us a letter Y and the next pass give us a letter uh, Z, so we uh, have uh, in the result YZ. Uh, so, which for uh, Excel, uh, yeah, you will recognize as uh, ZY when it's uh, reversed. So, uh, let's run it uh, or submit it for unsynthesis cases. Uh, so, this is our iterative approach. And as you can see, it's quite fast. So, zero milliseconds and also much faster than uh, other programming languages. So yeah, and beating 100%. So all good. Uh, now uh, let's clear it and try with a recursion. So, but let's not stop there. The beauty of Rust is truly unlocked when you dive into recursion. So it's time to see Rust efficiency and elegance in recursive approach. So I will implement it and explain break it down. So if column number equal zero, we return string new and close it. And let mutable number number be column number and number minus one. And let character code be number modulo 26 as u8 plus ba and let previous self convert to title number divided by 26 and return format previous character code as character so this is uh, our uh, recursive approach. Let's run it just to verify uh, it's working. So yes, it's working and we are uh, yeah, calling the current to uh, title uh, function. And so, and it is a core of this recursive solution. So uh, mirrors our iterative one but instead of building a string in a loop, we are doing it through recursive 
uh, function uh, call. Uh, so uh, the magic here is in self convert to title number divided by 26 line where we are calling our function within uh, our uh, function. And uh, yeah, so now uh, to those watching, uh, you might wonder why Rust? Why not uh, stick to uh, Python? So uh, let's submit it to verify uh, it's working. Yeah, so it's working. So, well, here's an intriguing uh, uh, dive. So when comparing our, for example, uh, Rust solution with the Python one, run, Rust runs uh, at a astonishing uh, zero millisecond and probably on lead code, we have uh, same uh, test cases. So zero millisecond uh, recursive approach, zero millisecond uh, iterative. And while Python takes, for example, 40 millisecond with recursive approach and uh, 37 millisecond with iterative approach. So not, not just uh, that. Uh, so Rust uses only uh, 2.2 uh, megabytes of memory or even 1.9 in recursive uh, approach. And it's a uh, lot less than uh, Python using uh, 60 megabyte of uh, memory. So this uh, isn't to diminish Python or any other languages, but it's, uh, it's uh, good to know how Rust is uh, efficient, especially in uh, computation heavy uh, scenarios. So, and for those interesting in solution across uh, various languages, uh, don't forget to check the video description uh, from uh, Go to uh, C++, it's uh, all implementation down there. And wrapping up um, the Excel sheet column title problem uh, isn't just a, a challenge, uh, so it's a nice way to see a power of algorithm and the efficiency of programming languages and endless possibility of code. So we implemented uh, using iterative and recursive approach. And uh, that's a wrap up for today. If you love this deep dive into Rust and Excel column, uh, do subscribe for more uh, coding uh, adventure and stay tuned for more. And yeah, this was uh, Van Amsen and see you next time. Keep practicing and happy coding.